beautiful day in Berlin. It's Hamish Campbell from Boating Europe. And today we're doing a test of upgrading our boat batteries to um, LP4, lithium batteries. It's a very safe and quite mature technology nowadays. Today we're making our own 12.8 volt lithium LP4 battery. We bought four of these huge heavy cells from China. Imported, this is old technology, very robust, very safe. Um, and if we put four of them together with the supplied bus bars, uh, we then add a BMS, a battery management system. This is a, a, a relatively inexpensive, again, safe, reliable, well-known brand uh, system. This can handle 80 amps of current. This with a um, balancing cable, I had to crimp the ends on myself, uh, is all put into a box. Uh, the box is simply a container out of um, a box store. Uh, which the batteries fit in well and um, the bottom of the box actually pinches the batteries a bit so so the ducks are at it again so so we actually have to raise them up a bit so the first thing to do is to put the four cells into the um, battery box and you simply do them alternate red to black uh, red to black and red to black so they're all nicely seated in there up. Okay, the reason you use the battery box is because the spells can expand and contract as they go through their charging cycle, so this is just to contain them and restrict that from happening. Um, the next thing is to connect up the, uh, the connectors. Okay, so we're going to put a bus bar across here, a bus bar across here and a bus bar across here. This will be the main positive, this will be the main negative. Okay, let me just do that now. Okay, at this stage I'm just doing it quite loosely because actually we're gonna add the charge, the charge, the BMS um, balance charging cables afterwards. So I'm just loosening it, loosely putting it together. Okay, so that's the first one done. Uh, second one. Okay, we've put the battery together, um, put the bus bars in, it should now register about um, 13 volts. Let's try the voltmeter. So, 13.16. Perfect, so my battery is now a 12.8 volt battery, nominally. So the next job is to add, add the, um, the battery balancer, the protection board, BMS, battery management system. So this is a pretty straightforward thing, you just have to put these connectors on the right places and then this has to be placed in your battery in some way because it actually generates quite a bit of heat when it's discharging and charging. So it has to be placed in your battery some way where it doesn't actually heat up, directly heat up the cells. Okay, right. uh, the blue one is the negative. This goes to the main negative and then this is the negative which comes through and goes to your main battery negative, main um, system negative. So basically this breaks the negative. Um, then the charge controlling cable the main negative goes to the main negative and then they, they cycle through red, 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 um, one, each one. Uh, and then when you're finished, you actually plug it into here and measure the voltage coming out. And if it's the correct voltage, you've wired it up correctly. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is do the negative. So we're gonna take that one off and do the negative. But actually at the same time, we need to, might as well do it at the same time, we need to put, this goes onto there. Okay, we simply tighten that up. Okay, it's very important. It's, it, it's very important not to actually touch across the cells with this, otherwise you'll get lots of heat and sparks. So be very careful using the spanner while playing with batteries. Uh, most people would wear safety glasses, but I've got to put mine on today. <laughs> goes on to there. 
So, so we've now got the BMS connected to the main negative. Now we put these charging cables on and you do them in the order they come off this. So, hang on. So, um, we take off the first one after the black wire and that goes to first battery positive, which is this one. So let's take that off. Drop that on and put this on back on again. Again, I'm just doing them up loosely just so I can just make sure I've done everything correctly. Actually, let's place that around there just so it's nice and nice and tidy. Okay. Then the second one, we have a look on here. Second one is this one. This goes to this one. Okay, then the third one. One is done, two is done, this is three, three. Okay, three goes to this one. Do you want to come over here? And this part of the battery. This goes onto that one. Okay, and the final one comes onto this post here, fifth post. It's fifth, one, two, three, four, fourth post. <laughs> okay. This will be our main positive, this is our main negative. Okay, so, uh, I've got them a bit tangled up. <laughs> Yeah. So let's double check. First negative to first negative. Second positive to second first positive. Second second first positive to first positive. Second positive to second positive. Third positive to third positive to third positive and fourth positive to fourth positive. Okay, so at each stage, just, just reassure yourself by checking the voltage across the terminals. It should be about 13 volts. So negative onto negative, positive onto positive, and we get 13 volts. Yep, 13.116 again, so that's perfect. Now we simply plug this in to turn on the, turn on the, um, turn on the BMS. And so, so if you're ever leaving your battery for a time, just unplug the BMS. Okay, so the BMS is now plugged in. So now we check the system by checking um, across the main negative. So this is the new main negative and this is the new main positive. And we don't get the right voltage. Let's have a look. No, nope, we're not getting the correct voltage, so something's wrong with this setup. Uh, yeah, definitely not getting the right voltage. Um, let's try it across here again. No, nope, we're definitely not getting the right voltage. Okay, so there's something wrong with our setup. So let's go and check it. Let's unplug it and go and check everything. Ah, yeah, so um, we put it together last time and it didn't clear out the right voltage, so we thought um, the problem was just a loose connection. So we tightened down all of the connections, because remember we just did them temporarily, just to, um, just to do the test system. And now let's just test across the batteries. It comes out at 13.15 and across the BMS, oh, we've got to plug it in first. We plug in the BMS to turn it on. Okay, BMS is now turned on. Across the BMS, it now comes to, yep, 13.15. So this is now a complete, um, a complete 12.12, 12 volt lithium, lithium battery. Um, we put these back on just to cover up the um, connector so we don't get these short circuits, uh, just to be a little bit safer. Okay.
Again, be very careful not to drop any metal tools across any of these connectors. Right, yeah, that one goes on there. Then we've got one black one left, yep. There it goes. Okay, a complete battery. Now, I'm just gonna stick a bit of foam um, just down here, just to actually make sure the cells don't move around. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Okay, and I'm gonna drop that inside there. Okay. I'm gonna actually slot in a bit of cork in between the two just to stop the heat transferring across. And that is a, um, so that this, this, this is now a complete, uh, it's, it's a thousand pound battery, but it cost me about 400 pounds. And I built it myself and now I actually understand how it works. So if anything goes wrong, I can swap out the BMS, I can tighten up the connections. It's not a sealed box. So I'm very much empowered to do my own, own living. Um, I'm actually going to get a new BMS, um, one with Bluetooth on, so I can actually look at the data from the cells. And this one's going to be moved on to our new outboard motor battery, which I'm just trying to order from China now. I think we're going to do a 50 amp hour one, which is about about a third the size of this to drop into the, for the electric motor on the out, on, on the um, dinghy tender. So uh, if you want to build your own, it's really quite straightforward. The raw materials are easy to get once shipping with China starts working again and I highly recommend it. Uh, this is going to run, this single battery is going to run our boat for the next um, six months or so and then we'll think about building a bigger battery bank which is pretty much exactly the same as building this one except maybe three times the size uh, and that's our boat dealt with. Thank you very much, Boating Europe. Right, oh.